hello guys welcome to the OOP lab video series so today we'll uh, learn the next assignment so first of all we'll see the uh, uh, problem statement so this is the problem statement implement a class quadratic that represents degree 2 polynomials that is polynomials of type x square plus bx plus c the class will require three data members corresponding to a b and c so implement the following operations the first operation is we will define a constructor which will uh, have the default constructor which creates the zero polynomial there it will initialize all the uh, polynomials then overloaded operator plus to add two polynomials of degree 2 then overloaded in insertion operator and extraction operator to print and real uh, read polynomials to do this you will need to decide what you want your input and output format to look like then fourth condition is uh, fourth case is a function eval that computes the value of a polynomial for a given value of x and then final case is a function that computes the two solutions of the equation x square plus bx plus c equal to zero so here we uh, first of all we have read, uh, read the uh, problem statement now we'll see the class diagram which is required here so now we know that what is the requirement so we need a class uh, class that is quadratic here you can see i have drawn the uh, class diagram so the name of my class is quadratic now so this class should have four member variables so uh, that will be of my uh, will be of integer types so a b c and the fourth variable is required that is x okay so why this 3 abc is required because our format of quadratic equation is a x square plus bx plus c so to get the input value of a b c we need here three variables and x is required when we are going to define our this evaluate function we are we are going to take input of x value so the member functions are required here so first member function is our constructor which is default constructor we will use to initialize all the uh, values member variables with zero value so at the left side you can see the algorithm also that i have written so first one by one with the help of according to the class diagram we'll see the algorithm also so first we have defined a quadratic class then we have defined uh, okay we have declared the member variables okay then after that we have defined constructor default constructor which will initialize all the member variables with zero values then after that we need uh, another function okay so that is friend function is required so there we are going to overload the extraction operator so it will be declared in the with this syntax that we know that is there we need i stream class reference then we need again i stream class parameter i stream class reference parameter and quadratic class pa reference parameter as a parameter the same thing we, uh, is applicable for next uh, uh, function friend function that is for uh, insertion operator where again we'll use o stream reference okay as a return type and then o stream reference as a parameter and quadratic reference as a parameter then we uh, in, in this uh, extraction operator uh, friend function will uh, access uh, will first take the input of all the member variables okay and then in the operator uh, insertion operator function will display the all the will access the values of member variables using this o stream object and will display it in the format of x square plus bx plus c then the, the next step is that we want to de uh, define the operator function you can see here i uh, have uh, define every uh, step in the algorithm so you, you have to define the operator function for addition so that we can do with help of here uh, operator overloading so this is a member function which, we, which should have quadratic return type and it should have it should pass as it is a binary uh, operator it should pass quadratic uh, class reference there okay okay object so in this uh, function we'll do what in this function will create a temporary object okay of quadratic class and then we will access the members member variables of first and second quadratic object okay so we are going to take two uh, quadratic uh, equations values so that will be through object so that will access first here that member variables the values of that member variables we will access and we'll do the addition on it okay and finally we will return the temporary object in this 
operator function okay then the sixth step is what we have to define a function for evaluation that is evaluate function we have to define here in this function we will take the value of uh, x and then we will multiply this uh, x value with the a b a and we will do the addition and finally we will display the result then after that finally we have to do the same seventh step now that is we have to uh, define a function for finding the roots so we are going to find the two solutions of a square plus bx plus c equal to zero so that we can find with this uh, situation okay so first we we have to calculate b square minus 4ac and then you have to store its value in a variable there so when the b square minus we know the uh, mathematical conditions are there so that mathemat mathematical conditions are in this way that is if we uh, with the b square minus 4ac is having a greater than zero value then that time the roots are uh, real and different okay so the two roots will be there so root 1 will be calculated in this way that is minus p plus square root of b square minus 4 ac and then uh, divided by 2 a then root 2 will be uh, we will get root 2 by, by this formula minus p minus square root of b square minus 4 ac upon 2 a then when b square minus 4 ac will be 0 that time the roots will be real and equal so there the, to find the root to calculate the root this is the formula that is minus b upon 2a otherwise if your b square minus 4ac is less than 0 that time the roots are complex and different okay so this this time you have to find out real and imaginary value first so real will be minus b upon 2a and imaginary will be square root of minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a so finally you have to find out root 1 by adding real plus imaginary number we have to uh, make it a complex number and root 2 is equal to real minus imaginary part okay so this way we will uh, complete our quadratic uh, class definition this is the logic for this is the algorithm for your quadratic class first finally you have to define the main function but inside main function the task is very easy now that is we have to create objects of quadratic class and then we will take the input of first quadratic uh, using first object and then second quadratic using second object and then we will add these two above objects and we will store its, uh, its result into third object and then we will call the uh, function for, for evaluation and we will call the function for finding the roots and with the help of uh, uh, the uh, cout we will display the result finally okay we'll display the uh, quadratic equation there okay so this is about the algorithm and this is about the uh, class diagram which is required to write the code for this assignment so we'll start with the uh, assignment now so i will use code id uh, code blocks id now so the statement is already copied here so i have already included io stream file and the next uh, header file is required here that is math.h okay because we are going to use one uh, library function math library function here that is sqrt to find out the square root okay so required for sqrt function okay so sqrt function is required there so to use that function we have to use we have to import now we have to include math.h file here okay so first of all our task is to define a quadratic class inside this quadratic class we will declare three variables a b c and then x then we will do what we will check the public okay so we will do the public uh, uh, access specifier here and then of this public access specifier will define our constructor and all other functions there okay so first we'll uh, define the constructor or to define the default constructor that we know to uh, just write the name of class and then brackets empty brackets and then open and close curly brackets okay so inside this we'll initialize a with zero b with zero c with zero okay so no need to initialize x now so i have just initialized a b and c here then 
we have to define a function for friend function for input and output okay so friend operator function so i'll use friend keyword here okay then i string person operator then the symbol extraction operator then i stream reference again it's object we need here so i will use team here and then i need quadratic object here also so i'll use q c okay so this i will declare here okay the same code i will this is the same, same statement i will copy here and i will paste it here just i will replace here o string because i need o string class now and d in with d out okay and this qc with suppose qd okay so that we, we will we are going according to our this class diagram and this algorithm okay that we have done this part we have done this part okay we have done now this part means so we have declared this function we have to define it again okay so that was okay don't worry don't worry i will provide the link for my algorithm file pdf file and class file in the video description so now this time the next thing we want to do that is we have to define function okay one thing is remaining here uh, and use in session operator okay but one thing is remaining here that is you have to use const keyword here the type modifier you have to use because you don't want to modify your uh, that uh, object there so we'll use const modify here we are because this uh, this function is going to display the output only here so no need to change to any changes here okay the next function will define or will declare that is for addition so i'll use quadratic return type then operator okay and plus and quadratic okay so this i have declared now after that next function i will declare that will be for evaluation so i'll use evaluate which which function which we have, we have written here that is evaluate okay so evaluate function i will declare here then i will declare find root function here okay so this function is for this is for input this is for output okay and this is for addition of two quadratic Okay, this is for evaluating when x value when value of x is provided. Okay, and this is when we will use. Okay, this will be used for finding. To, it will find the rules of quadratic. Okay. So that we have done here now, and here we have done. We have done what here? Initialized the member variable zero. Now the declare uh, class definition has been completed. Now we have to define all these functions outside the class. So one by one, I will define. So now we know that friend functions are, uh, are, need no, are not member functions of a class. So uh, while defining those functions outside the class, you don't need to use class name, return type, then in class name and class name and scope resolution operator. So I'll directly use I stream return type and operator and keyword then extraction operator then I stream ampersand. So I have used here okay. So no need to use here directly object. So I'll remove this. Just this is declaration, so no need to use there. So I'll remove this. Okay. Now we'll write here the object name now. The in comma the right quadratic. Okay. This reference I will use here that is Kc. And in 
inside this function will write the code for input now so i am having this d in object of iStream class and we know that iStream class is helping for us to take the input from keyboard so i'll use this here d in and then i'll use extraction of it as usual and then we will put this qc because we are going to provide with the values of abc so qc object is going to be uh, provided the value of abc here member variables so i'll use here qc dot a then qc dot b then qc dot c so here i'll take the complete uh, values of my quadratic that is abc and then i'll return the object in okay so this definition has been completed we'll copy and paste the same function definition because there is no change in uh, the other, uh, next definition there is just i will define uh, replace i with o and i will make it o stream then i'll replace this extraction with insertion this i with o o stream and here instead of d and i will use the object here and instead of this qc i will use qt okay so inside this i will remove this here i need the out now so insertion operator is again required here and with the help of qt now i can access a but now here i have to for display the quadratic equation in, in its format x square plus bx plus b c so i will uh, display something here x into x for x square okay then it will have the plus sign okay then i'll write here qd dot b so i'll access the value of p here and i will display here again that is x then here plus sign and here i will display qd dot c So this we need here. Uh, this I will use endl for new line character. So here I will return t out object. So you can see that this is the logic for output. Now we have overloaded our insertion operator and we have displayed our quadratic equation in the given format. Okay, that we can do here. Now this next function that we want to define here that is operator function for addition. So that is the member function of my quadratic class. So I have to use return type now. Return type is my quadratic that is class name and then class name is again quadratic. So scope presentation operator, then operator keyboard, okay, and then plus symbol, and then I have to pass the parameter here that is quadratic and here I have to use something like q q I will use here. Okay, just q simply. Inside this function, now I can access okay i can access the values of my two quadratic equations that is the abc values i can access here but to hold that values to hold the addition of those values again i need here temporary variable okay a uh, temporary object so i'll do one thing i will declare i will create a temporary object here with the temp and with the help of this temp i will access its a okay its a member to store the uh, addition of eighth value of that two uh, quadratic equation so here i will access a of first quadratic quadratics uh, uh, member a that is variable a plus i will access the second quadratics uh, a value with the pop q object here a okay so this way b is equal to b plus q dot b i'll access temp dot c is equal to c plus q dot c so all the values i will access so just remember that this this these these variables a b c these are the uh, members of a current is calling object whatever the object is going to be uh, called this function that time this value will be copied from that object a b c and this will be that will be first object which will have first quadratic equation and this q dot a q dot b and q dot c that will access the abc values of 
second quadratic equation okay so all these values will be added and it will be stored into corresponding temporary objects member a b c and then we'll return here we'll return temporary object now okay because our return type is here because our return type is class name here that is quadratic so that because of that we have to return here object value after that the next function is evaluate so that is also the that is also the uh, member of my uh, that function so okay member of my quadratic uh, class now so that is having void return type and this is the member of quadratic class so i will provide the quadratic class name here scope resolution operator and the name of function is evaluate okay no parameter is required there so inside this function i i need to take input of x first so i'll display one message i will declare first uh, i'll use uh, integer x okay and then i'll display enter the value of x okay so this i will display there and with the root of c i'll take the input of x now okay so after this I will place this value into the x square plus p x plus c formula now. Okay, so I uh, will uh, declare a double variable now. Okay, the double result is equal to a means a into x into x plus b into x plus c. So I will put it inside the packets. This in one bracket. This one another bracket okay okay so this will calculate the value it will evaluate the expression at the given x value and then i will display the result okay with the help of this result variable now okay so the evaluate function is also member function also defined here now the next function is Okay, that is again the member of quadratic class. So I will return. I will use void return type then quadratic because while give, uh, doing the declaration, I have provided void return type there. So I can use void return type then class name quadratic. Then find root is the signature of that function. So I will use that. So inside this function, what we want to do first, we want to calculate the value of b square minus 4 ac. So we'll do one thing here. I'll declare a double variable again here. So double rs is equal to I'll use b into b minus 4 into a into c. Okay, so this operation I will perform first. Okay, I'll use brackets again here to get the operator precedence properly. Okay. So b square minus 4 ac this value i have already uh, calculated there so with the help of if loop i'll check that r is okay i will use conditional block now if r s is greater than zero then that time what we have to do okay so when r s is greater than zero that time it will display roots are real and different means dif distinct okay so this will be displayed there and that time it will calculate the root 1 so root 1 will be calculated by using the formula minus b plus sqrt okay and then rs upon 2 into a so this we have to do first of all there then after that okay we'll do one thing here we'll put it inside the brackets now okay so this we have to do here and this is inside the brackets okay the same thing i will copy now and i will do for root to here this will be minus okay and after this i'll display root 1 is equal to okay root 1 is equal to root 1 and then then i will copy the same thing i want to display root 2 now i will display root 2 
and then go to your analysis okay so this is about the first logic that we have already written in our algorithm so if it is uh, greater than zero then roots will be real and different now I think we will see if if rs is equal to equal to zero that time what will happen it will display rows are real and equal okay so this time this time what i will do i will use again one variable that is root is equal to i'll directly use minus p upon 2 into a this is the formula okay because ultimately the square root of 0 will become 0 directly there so it remains only minus p there so minus p upon 2 to a this formula we can use there and i'll display see how root equal to okay what is the root now that is root okay so this is about your second condition otherwise okay else if you are rs is greater uh, less than zero that time what will happen that time it will display roots are complex and different okay so this time it will display this statement okay so this time i'll calculate the real part first so double real is equal to i'll do what here minus p upon 2 into a okay that we will check out first okay so this we want to do first okay real and then imaginary we want to find out so we'll take it here okay the double i m g is equal to minus oh, that is square root of minus r s this value and 2 into a this is the formula for imaginary part now so here i'll do what i'll display now okay i will display now my complex numbers now here as a root so root 1 is equal to i'll display this okay and then i'll access real value then i'll display plus symbol and then i'll display i m g value then i'll display i and then end okay the same thing i will copy and paste now i'll display just a minus and root okay so this has been defined okay all the functions we are defined here according to our class diagram and according to our algorithm now i think there is nothing remain now so everything is defined now we'll go for main function so inside main function first important task that we have to do that is we have to, uh, we have to create object so i'll use qt object okay qt1 qt2 and qt3 three objects i will create here because i need two objects for addition and a third object for storing the result so here i'll display enter the values of first quadratic quadratic okay that values i will enter here okay with the help of c in i can do that by using qt1 directly okay because we have already overloaded extraction operator there with the help of friend function that we can do the same statement i will copy and paste now and i will write here enter the values of second quadratic qt2 and now i can add all these objects to objects by using operator overloading again so i will use qt1 plus qt2 so here these two objects will be added by using operator function plus and its result will be stored into qt3 okay then we can display see how resulting or or 
resulting quadratic is equal to okay qt3 and i okay so this way we have displayed that also and here again we are using operator overloading of insertion operator then next thing is remaining that is we will do the evaluation operation on qt3 object and we will find the roots of qt3 object directly and means the resulting quadratic will use it for further operations now so i'll use qt3 dot evaluate i'll just call it with the help of object name and dot operator and then after that i'll display roots of resulting quadratic okay so this will i will display there and i will call qt with the help of qt3 object i will call find root function now okay so this way we have done everything we have done everything now we'll compile it first Okay, so here we have missed const keyword so that we will write here. Okay, we'll compile it. So compilation done successfully. No error, no warnings now. Okay, I'll do what now? I'll run it. So it is it is asking for the values now. So enter the values of first quadratic. So I'll use three four into A B C values. Then suppose one three and five. Now we can see that see the resulting quadratic is four x square plus seven x plus seven. It's correct now. So it is asking for the value of x now. So we'll put some value like two. Now we can see it is displaying the result 37 for this quadratic equation and then roots of resulting quadratic now that is roots are complex and different so it is displaying root 1 is minus 12 plus 15.874 i and then 12 minus 15.8745 i so this is about your quadratic uh, assignment where we have done the we have done the addition of two quadratic equations we have evaluated the quadratic equation according to the x value and then we have find uh, found uh, the we have tried to find the solutions or two solutions or the roots of that quadratic resulting uh, resulting quadratic equation so we'll stop here so if you have any doubt about this assignment about this lab assignment do comment okay please post your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel in order to get all the updates uh, of my channel or to get the future videos updates okay and also uh, subscribe uh, also share my videos with your friends uh, share my channel with your friends so that they will also get the new updates of my videos or lab assignments so thank you for watching my video bye bye